Two Fish Talks. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Two Fish Talks. We're going to keep reading in the Bible about Noah today. Are you ready? Let's go. God sends a great flood, January 6th. Noah's neighbors were probably still laughing when Noah and his family went on the ark, the big boat, but they stopped laughing when they saw the great door slowly close. Who was closing the door? They couldn't see anyone do it. The rain poured from the sky in torrents. Then water gushed up from the ground. Soon great rivers of water were rushing everywhere. The rain poured down for forty days and nights. Soon the rivers became great lakes of water. Before long, water covered the ground everywhere. But Noah and his family were safe on the big boat. So were the animals Noah brought on board. For 150 days, water covered the earth. After the 150 days, the ark came to rest on the Mount of Ararat. After three more months, other mountains appeared. Then after 40 more days, Noah opened a window and sent a raven out. The raven flew back and forth until the earth was dry. Noah also sent a dove out. But the dove found no place to land, so it came back. Seven days later, Noah sent the dove out again. This time the dove came back with an olive leaf. Noah knew the water was almost gone. Another week later, Noah sent the dove again. This time it did not come back. Finally, Noah opened the door of the ark. The water was gone, but it still looked muddy outside. It took another two months for the land to dry. Then God spoke to Noah. It was time for Noah and all the animals to leave the ark. Soon the ark was empty. Noah built an altar and presented a thanksgiving offering to God. Then God put a beautiful rainbow in the sky. That was his sign that he would never send a big flood over the whole earth again. So it happened that the world had a fresh start. Every animal and bird in the new world had been saved on the ark. Wow! Noah and his family were safe because they obeyed God. We'll read more tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye!